All right, guys. So last video, I caught the 23-inch red. Uh, very next cast caught the 25 and a half inch trout. The rig that I caught it on was this popping cork. Well, it was a different popping cork that I need to replace. Um, I really like these bombers. They're way more durable than what I used the last time. I'm not going to bash anyone, but I will say that the the bomber paradise popper is my favorite. Um, this wire does not bend. You don't have to keep bending it back into place. You can bend this thing over and it pops right back to where it needs to be. So let's rig this thing. Once again, this is for beginners. Um, you experience guys just fast forward, but beginners, I'm going to show you what you do. So metal balls go to the bottom because that's the weight that's going to help with the cast. We're going to do a uni knot through the top I'm gonna leave a tag end about that long make a loop hold that you're gonna see both lines right there you're gonna wrap both them lines four times three and four. Grab that tag end, pull it. You'll see a knot. Wet the line. Hold on to the popping cork, hold on to the main line, and pull. You'll see that slide on down. Tighten up, and you'll be left with that tag end. Clip that tag end off. Alright, so now your main line is hooked to your popping cork, which would sit in the water like that. And we need to hook the fluorocarbon leader to the other end and to your circle hook. So once again, this all depends on the depth of the water you're fishing and how much fluorocarbon leader you want to use. You're going to repeat the exact same process. Go through the hole. Pull that tag end three, four inches, make a loop, grab both lines, wrap both lines four times, two, three, four, wet the main line, hold the main line, pull tight, see it slide down. Good to go. Clip that tag in. Now you are just about done. Main line, fluorocarbon leader. Only thing left is the hook. And I like to use for the fish that I am targeting, I don't go that big. 1-0 or 2-0 is perfect. I do the same exact knot, guys. I don't do a loop knot on these, so I do the same uni knot. Come through the main hole, pull the tag line, make a loop, grab both lines, wrap it. 2, 3, 4. It's going to look like that. Wet that line. Hold the hook, pull the main line, cinch it down, cut the tag end. You are ready to go. There's your circle hook to your fluorocarbon leader, to your popping cork, to your main line. Take that circle hook right there, put your live shrimp. Or a live mud minnow or any live bait really sling it out there it's the easiest fishing there is it's great for beginners it's great for kids you watch that cork cork goes down I will say if anyone does make a mistake fishing a popping cork um, as soon as the cork goes down they tend to pull it you need to let that um, fish go ahead and eat and um, just take up the slack and you'll do well 
as you saw in that video there's not a lot to it this is also a good way to fish when you're throwing an artificial you can throw an artificial you know 10 12 times against a bank and just leave this out there kind of drifting and um, see what else you catch on that while you're throwing your artificial all right guys i hope that helped and we'll see you on the kayak